We go off the air tonight with the story of a small town in Quebec, which is also a small town in Vermont, and that's the problem. The town is called Stansted when you're on the Quebec side and Derby Line when you're on the Vermont side. It's always been a friendly place. The border was always a kind of curiosity. That is, until borders took on a whole new meeting after 9-11. Here is NBC's Kevin Tibbles. They are two towns, Derby Line, Vermont, and Stansted, Quebec, nestled up to the border for more than a century. There are people in both villages that are part of one family, and I think that's probably the way that uh, we look at ourselves. But on three side streets, there are no border guards. Aside from a chunk of granite, you'd never know what country you're in. We're in Canada. Now we're back in the United States. Anyone wanting to cross simply does, and that's what the combined 3,500 residents here do. Security cameras are watching. Signs tell you to report to the customs post nearby. If you don't, the Border Patrol comes looking. Last year, officials say 44 people were caught trying to sneak into both countries. What has been increasing is people crossing border by foot and vehicles waiting for them to pick them up. But in a post-9-11 world, Canadian and American officials are worried about the easy access and are now discussing blocking the three streets off. It's ridiculous. Most people, like pharmacist Buzz Roy, worry bonds of friendship built over decades will also be blocked. We're not ready to, to, to turn our back to our friends. And then there's the magnificent library built in 1905, straddling the border on purpose. They place it on the border as a gift to the citizens of both countries. You enter in the United States, but to take out a book, you cross the black line on the floor yeah, into Canada. Yeah. Today, kids from both countries enjoying story time as friends without passports. To put the barricade up would defeat that purpose, would make it make us seem hostile. If we give away these streets, then we've given away a part of ourselves and we're not going to get it back. A controversial proposal that has united two towns in two countries more than ever. And it's as easy as a few simple steps from here in Canada across into the United States. But it's a way of life these people want to protect. And now, Brian, I'm going to make my way over to see the folks at Customs and Immigration. You do the right thing and check in, Kevin. And on behalf of all of us, welcome to the United States of America. Kevin Tibbles, <laughs> who is now in the great state of Vermont. That's our broadcast for this Thursday night. Thank you for being with us. I'm Brian Williams. We'll look for you right back here tomorrow evening. Good night.